Welcome back everyone to CK2 Plus and the House Carling as Emperor Richard. And uh, we have a really cool event, the Travels of Marco Polo. The Venetian merchant Marco Polo has finally returned to Europe after many years of travel in the Far East with his father and uncle. An account of their journey has been published as the Travels of Marco Polo, describing, among other things, the distant lands of Cathay and Manji. Readers are provided a rare glimpse of the world beyond Europe, but there are those who discount the entire chronicle as a fabrication. A stunning tale, nonetheless. I think this is really, really cool. Um, and in the meantime, we had a few things happen. Um, I have another son. Um, Empress Aniko has given birth to Prince Jorah, but he uh, has a cough and chest, chest pain, so I don't know if he's going to make it through. I hope, of course. We also had another hunt that wasn't very eventful, and we had a peasant uprising in Bayeux. But our great commander, this champion from the tournament, um, he he made short work of uh, that uprising. Now, we also lost a little bit of Imperial Decadence due to the um, a large event. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. We still have, I don't know, it doesn't show because we don't have uh, more than 10. You only get effects if you have more than 10 Decadence. Um, so... Yeah, we don't actually need to worry about this. Our sister has now married the uh, King of Abyssinia. So, you know, there they go. That's awesome. And yeah, let's quickly check this out. Being a field lord means working hard at keeping your personal relations with your vassals at an acceptable level. Sometimes, though, they seem to have grudges against me, and I must work at eliminating those and still proper loyalty. Be an example to my vassals. I think that's what we shall do, and make them more diligent, if possible. Yeah, um... Other than that, we are doing not too much. We'll, of course, have the court physician deal with our son, look after our son. What is the Holy Roman Empire doing? What are you... No, that's not you. You are in a war. You are fighting... Gascony. Wait. Wow. The King of Castile fighting the Doge of Gascony. Interesting. Well, I think you you may have been a little bit uh, You have maybe taken on more than you can chew uh, Ah, I see so that's how that alliance came to pass Yeah, all right. That's fine. I mean it doesn't really bother me. Oh look at Tunis uh, being independent They're a Quranist a Sunni heresy that has risen up successfully Um. wow. Yeah, you guys are just not doing fine. You have so many issues. Poof. Oh well, not really my problem though. How are the Kwamit? How is this Kwamit Empire doing? You, wow, uncrowned, a formidable fighter. You don't seem to have any decadence. You only have lack of funds. It's the only thing that bothers you. But you did lose the Sultanate here. Um, because this guy is excommunicated. Holy hell. Ah, I think he has been deposed, maybe. That might be it. Strong, tall man. Yeah. So there's some struggle between orthodoxy and Catholicism in there. Um, whatever. Now, most excellent Emperor Richard. You may live in harmony. It will request your honor obligation to war against the Glamorgian Peasant Revolt. Glamorgian Peasant Revolt. Who is this? You. You have 900 men. 3,000. Where is Glamorgan? These guys, where are you? Where is Glamorgan? Shouldn't that be here somewhere? Hmm. It's here. Uh, I mean, we don't want bloodshed, but we're going to have to deal with it anyway. So might as well raise our English dude. Jocelyn. You will do this, Joffrey and Abdullah as well. I did, ma I did make sure that we're no longer leading troops personally, because that's something we don't want. We'll wait a little bit. Oh, wow, we're actually being dealt with. Uh, the Welsh Liberation Revolt. That is also apparently problematic. Who are you fighting? You are fighting against Raimundo, a king of Aragon. All right, so I suppose we don't actually need our own troops anymore. That was, a, that was an easy fight i'm glad we we did uh, we did that that was certainly worth it we're gonna try and go hunting once more it does cost quite a little bit of money but 
just what we want to do, right? Did we just lose our friend? I think we may have. I think we may have just lost our friend. Yep, we did. We did indeed. And now we only have Joffrey uh, anymore. So who's taken over after you? You died of severe stress. Some dude took over. Okay, luckily I don't care about him. So we can move on. Um, Would he want me to cry? I don't think he would want me to cry. Spent evening getting drunk at a local tavern. Friendship will only hurt you in the end. Distance yourself from all friends. Who? I was sort of the. I, I I could see us being that kind of depressed. I don't think it. You know what? I mean, no. But here's the thing: no, we're gregarious, socially competent. We wouldn't do that. I don't think we wouldn't isolate ourselves. No, no, no. Um, he wouldn't want me to cry. Let's drink in his honor. I think that's what we'll do. I've probably already had one drink too many when I'm joined at the table. An equally intoxicated man it takes me a few minutes to realize, but surely it must be Mayor Joffrey, another one of old, an old friend of Hilbert's. Perhaps we can find solace in each other's company. Um, sure. And we'll find a new friend. I think that's fine. And this guy is a pretty terrible man. Uh, slothful. Uh, he's envious, lustful, a drunk. Not necessarily the best company but it's the company we have so there you go uh, i'm also slowly building up what we can barracks here would be nice very nice awesome and a new doge of gascony not really a surprise there you probably got killed no you actually died a natural death surprisingly enough but yeah look at the holy romans fourteen thousand men a little bit of an overkill i would i would mention oh i would say and you are probably in debt now. Yes. That was not a smart war. See the wolves again. Not going to read that out because we've already seen that. And while chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled. Ah. Yeah, well, we're still proud of our punt hunting abilities. Not sure we should be, to be honest. Ah, the king of Sardinia is asking us um, to join him. He actually expanded, look at this. Owns Salerno. Sure, we'll attend. Why not? Oh, uh, but Aborea is independent. Hmm. And Gerard died of pneumonia. Oh shit. Well, Raymond hopefully is gonna do well. He's paranoid. Thanks. That's great. He's a trained fighter. Hardy, what could what could happen? Proud, arbitrary, or cruel. That's not that's not great. Or humble, shy, and craven. I have the feeling he's not gonna be the greatest of of rulers. But yeah, there is the Sardinian coronation with quite a celebration. I don't really pay too much attention to this because I don't think it matters too much to us. And Brother Angelo, a disgruntled Catholic monk by the name of Brother Angelo, has heavily criticized Pope Leo the Thirteenth. And in doing so has rocked the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. But the Angelo denies that Pope Leo is legally the Pope as he has been abrogated the rule as he has abrogated the rule of Saint Francis, which according to his doctrine represented the pure and simple gospel. He has asserted that all of Pope Leo's decrees are thus invalid, and that all Catholics who follow the Pope's will have lost the grace of God. Criticize the Pope. Now this is interesting. Who's this Angelo? Who is he? Is he an anti-pope or something? He's not. But Pope Leo has a bad reputation. Actually reduces um, moral authority as does Brother Angelo. And we lost Holy Wars. But we also won Holy Wars. So it's fine. Alright. Hmm. Yeah. The opinion of Pope Leo is not particularly high. So I think we're actually making a lot of money from these people. I might be wrong. And the Duke, the Duchy of Anjou, can be usurped. I think we shall do that. Usurp that duchy. Yep. Now, all he does is he still holds Anjou, obviously. Hmm. Well, who, who would hold that duchy? It would be... 
you and Barry, or you, Nicholas. I mean, sure. I, I think I'm gonna grant you the Duchy of Anjou. That will make you happy, very happy, in fact, very good. Okay, so we have a, we have a friend there, and your ear. I hope this is not gonna cause any issues. It might. We'll have to see. Um, a mad woman sure will help you in any way we can uh, without demanding anything. Okay, Poland. Wow, look at Hungary expanding here. Uh, Poland does not really exist anymore. But they are still holding on to the Valdensian heresy. They're now defending against Mongols. And we have a steward. Uh, that seems like... Yeah. You died. The Duke of Granada. Okay, so we need a new steward. Look at them all being loyal. That's amazing. I think that's just our vassal. Uh, the Duke of Flanders is Valdensian. The Duchess of Champagne. We've got a Bishop. I think we'll pick this mayor then. Seems to be the most competent. And have him... Yeah, actually, administer our realm. We want to improve our domain, if possible. Anything else that we need to think about particularly? Um, you're 14. Gonna have a marriage very soon. There was something that I wanted to do, but I forgot what it was. What did I just want to do? Oh, right. I wanted to see if we can change our laws. We cannot yet. Because I want to change to Primogenitor. No vassals are fighting each other. Really? Is that it? Hmm. In that case... You know what? This would actually fit. Enforcing a realm piece probably would be good. Yes. Everyone is for it. We don't want to see any more war. Send the demands. No wars. Okay. Realm peace. Um, all internal wars... Wage between our vassals will end with a white piece in four months. That's exactly what I think that fits. I've, I don't think I've ever um, enforced realm peace, um, but I, th I feel like yeah, Emperor Richard is the right person for that. Now, as we're walking, our court physician bursts into our study. You have been up all night again. Um, do I heed his advice? Um, we lose diligence but gain health. I don't know. Um, I mean, we're dutiful. The realm never rests. I think we'll we'll not give up right now. Yeah. Okay. Paris prospers. Very nice. That was actually quick. Um, we have lost the deep population. Most of our domain is still here. Um, but that will hopefully. Oh wow, that's actually si still significant deep population here. But that will hopefully go away very soon. How are you fighting a war? Hmm. A revolt that should probably end. And what's this? Officially crowned as King of Castile. Sure, we'll attend. You're from Yeah, your your culture just doesn't fit. But whatever. Our court physician has improved. Very nice. And long live the king. Quite a celebration, of course. And we'll let it be for now. What's this? Those are the coronation feast had a duel ensue okay and long may he reign what a great speech and we have a f wait got along at the coronation <gasps> the king of castile's our friend he is well that is fantastic i'm not going to demand tribute request an excommunication that is cool so castile's our friend well that destroys all hopes for you guys that i'm going to deal with this we're not going to take over uh, because we're not going to declare war. Okay, so Realm Peace has been enforced. Let's go ahead and change our laws to Primogenitor. Yes, Primogenitor. Uh, thousand Prestige. Wow, okay. I think that's worth it though. Kingdom of France will be Primogenitor. Tradition faction does not like it. Wait, why do the lords get to vote on that? Does my council get to vote on that? Oh. 
Well, they should all be loyal. Hmm. And... I guess Bulgaria. I can't change it for some reason. Fine event. And what happened? Our steward is gone. He may have died. Yeah, he did die. Well, that's a problem. I will pick... Yeah, no. No, I will pick the... Hmm. Baldensian. I'll pick the Duke of Flanders for this position. And the results of the vote are in. What? Come on. That sucks. How? Why did they get to vote? I don't quite understand. We have Ignatic Primogenitor in here, but France is still elective. That was blocked, basically. Um, at least 50% of the electors must approve. Yeah, go for Primogenitor. And apparently they approved. Okay, now, we have some trouble with one of your petty nobles. Uh, swallow... Well, we are a proud man, aren't we? We also don't want a co confrontation. Let's... Let's make... F let's say it's false accusations for now. And then we'll see what happens. Proposal was rejected. Come on, you fucking guys. Fine, then. So we just pissed off everyone. Um, and we didn't really get much done. We did change the empire to be Gnatic, Gnatic, Primogenitor, but not... Yeah, not the kingdoms. I just don't understand why... Why, um... Why they get to vote, even. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But oh well. Maybe because it's elective, I guess they get to have a vote there. The Catholic priests are constantly pestering me about religion. Mm. Yeah. Have you... Someone help me get them to stop. Yeah. Do something. Your bishop. Tell them to shut up. I'd be most pleased. What? It seems as if no one wants to help me for fear of upsetting the Catholic priests. Not even my good friend, Bishop Joffrey. You fuck. Alright. Interesting. I'll remember that. We are now stressed because of all of this. I understand. I understand. I, I, I know how he feels. I fully... I fully agree, actually. Oh well. We've lost... Wait. Connacht, Scotland... Did we lose you as tributary? I think we did. I don't know if we're going to demand tribute. Also, what about you? I would like you to be my vassal. You're not quite accepting. Let's at least be my tributary. I think he'll, he's going to accept. Excellent. Yeah, that was easy enough. Giving us a little bit of gold. Yeah. Autosave. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Rest is looking pretty good. The Byzantine Empire seems to be... I don't know. Are they... Oh, look at Epirus. Epirus is actually a kingdom. They took over Athens here. Athens got actually split between the Byzantines and Epirus here, it seems. Cool. So we have the despot of Epirus, a king, who has 10,000 men. And then we've got the ecumenical patriarch with 18,000 men, currently fighting a war against Armenia Khan. That is so cool. Uh, the powers that, that grow here in this region. Uh, but there is also a merit that we can uh, go for. Yes, Brittany and uh, San Raymond, who looks a little bit dull, to be honest. Is everyone's concern? Yeah, that's fine. We've got plenty of prestige. Uh, he's a cruel man, lustful, humble, and paranoid. Yeah. I don't know, not exactly the greatest, I would say. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the fair queen of Elfland, and some say his songs are prophetic. Hear him sing. Just an old drunk. We'll have him sing. Sure, why not? See what he has to sing about. And, ah, uh, Duke of Flanders has died. Well, in that case, the Duchess of Champagne has inherited his position as 
steward. So we have actually, look at this, our council has two women. Yeah. Well, we're progressive like that, I suppose. And you can just continue your things. Is there any other laws we can change? Medium crown authority. We have supporters for that. I could see that. I could see us seizing power. Women on a council can be increased. Having martial women. We did have a woman be second place in our tournament. Could see that happening. Hmm. Do we want more crown authority? Yeah, you know what? Sure. Sure. Increase it. And our council should be for it. So I'm, I'm confident this is going to go through. If they're not going to give me my, uh, my inheritance law, then I'm going to get, I'm going to increase the council power, uh, the, uh, crown authority here. Yeah, we'll leave it be. Excellent. Uh, this is our brother, Duke of Verona, really supporting us. Like, honestly, this guy, he's doing an amazing job. He's leading the court faction. And I got to say, yeah, you're, you're doing an amazing job as our chancellor. Really love that. Okay, so medium crown authority has been in or has been established. Very nice. And um, yeah, we're still stressed, however. So I don't know how much longer we're gonna live. At least we have a great heir. Well, we have an heir who's who has a great wife, and we'll see how well they get. To, I mean, they're both cruel, so I could see something strange happening there. We'll have to see how that goes, but um, I will not attend, and I will also end the episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.